All right. Hello, world. I'm going to test something real quick. This should be full screen, right? So you can see everything. I hope there's nothing there that you shouldn't see. But the GIF. Oh, yeah, you can still see the GIF up there in the other corner. That's cool. I like it. Sweet. Oh, yeah, you see my checklist. This is my checklist for what I do to get ready to go. Oh, that jazz. Uh, welcome back to round two of the stream. We don't need loop back. We can get that over there. No, actually, we should do that. So real quick, we're going to update Keyboard Maestro for our stream prep. Uh, move apps to second monitor. Move apps to second monitor is here. So move and resize front window. This should be the only the one for loop back. So we're going to do this. This is just what I run. Oh, cool. Super cool. Like I've got those set up as variables. So all I gotta do is set this up. Why did that just jump? Oh, tweet decks up there. I gotcha. So text wrangler, we're gonna go to activate loop back, which is what I use to uh, pipe music into conference calls, um, which I do at the start and the end, and eventually I may do for like walk-up music for people. And, uh, but also when we have like working sessions, it's nice to have a little music in the background, um, just to have music in the background. So I put music in the background, that's what I do. One of these days, I'm gonna have the out of band thing so I can listen to it and you can listen to it and it'll be awesome. Uh, but we're not there yet. To help us get there, <clears throat> I just swallowed that wrong. Oh. We are going to build version two of the NASA stream assembler. So we've got, we've got the video. So this is for the thing that's going to make automatic music videos for us with NASA footage. Um, and I've got the footage downloading and I've got it split out into clips. And so now we need to do the assembly. Um, and I've got the first, ver like I did a first version of this that was up and running but I want to redo it or I'm redoing it. This is version two. So, um, and I'm going to make it its own thing as soon as I figure out what I'm doing. What am I doing? Uh, oh, I brought that back up. Let's go back here. So let's get up there. That's good. So go look at our Git repos. Yes. Yeah, so the NASA API, NASA downloader, NASA splitter, and then Git init bear. NASA assembler. That'll work. Go to our dev directory, git clone, git repo, NASA assembler. NASA assembler. Eed me. It's like read me, but you know, without the R. Read me. NASA video. NASA music video. V2. These are all kind of V2, but whatever. I haven't done I need to go back and actually do some work on those readmes. I should do that here in a minute. Um loops through a directory of mp3s gets the length of the mp3s creates a list of random clips that equal oh yeah you know so I kind of goofed maybe Yeah, I should actually, oh crap. Because I don't want these, I, so some of the clips and some of these NASA things are like, they last for minutes and I don't want that to happen. So I really need to go back and make my clipper make a maximum of 10 seconds per clip. Yep, I need to do that. That's how we need to do that. Um, 
which is a bummer because the thing's been running for a few hours and it made a whole bunch of, like so it goes through and it looks at the videos and figures out how to do it how to make the clips and then creates a file that we then go back later and process and go through um so that's been running for a few hours which, but i'll just run it overnight it's fine um but it's kind of a bummer uh create a list of random clips that equal the length of the mp3 assemble the clips with ffmpeg and cat this is gonna take longer than i was thinking um fade in and fade out so what this thing really needs to do is initial commit is it just needs to make ffmpeg commands and then run the ffmpeg commands so that shouldn't be awful um and what yeah and so what i'll do i don't it doesn't need to do any other math so i'll split because what the first time through this, what I did was I had it basically examining the clips to see if the clips, how long the clips were, which is, oh no, you don't need to do that because I've got a, I've got an output file with it. Ah, oh, but you do need to do it if it gets clipped. Oh, I could actually do it that way. So I've so I've got I've got a metadata file for every video that's clipped that gives me the start and end points for the clips that get made. And then I've got all those individual clips. But what I could do is just parse through that metadata file and look for clips that are less than 10 seconds. And so randomly pick one, and if it's more than 10 seconds, skip it. That way I don't have to right now go through and redo um, all the cuts. And then we'll just have to assume that there's that most of the videos and most of the things, which you can actually go check. I'll check through that. that that'll be the approach that I take now. That's that's the, the happy path for now, um, which is good because that way I don't have to do two things. Um, or I don't have to go redo the code for the other one and then also rerun the other one. It can just go. Um, I'm not running it right now, though, because I think it uses some processor. I know it uses some processor because you can see it spinning, um, but I, so I don't want to mess with the stream. Um, it, check out dev. Whoops. Want to give it a branch. And then let's go here and add it here. Choose it. Dev a assembler a big pay only anybody? All right, and then we need to give it a. So this is a new project, so we got to go through all the new project stuff. Pi env. Oh, there's our git ignore. We want to do that. Totally forgot about that. Um, VM get ignore. Close that. Um, add get ignore. Oh, actually, ah, create get ignore. So it gives you, it makes a guess. That's cool. Um, boom, 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 boom. But now what we really need is, oh, so that was. Yeah, that's Django. Here's this. Here's this. So this is the start. This is what I don't have in my head yet. Pi env virtual env 3.9.0. Okay, I can do that. And then venv is the name of it with NASA B L E R NASA assembler. And that takes a second. And it should be pi 
EMV local, VMV NASA assembler. Pilot, yeah, so there's just the three. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do that. Now go to PyCharm. And a PyCharm, that was weird. Directory closed. Um, Oh yeah, CSV line skip. There we go. Pi CSV line skip. Skip heteros. Yeah, cool. I should post that, which is why it says post and snippet. So new project, open project, dev, assembler open new window starting to get there okay so it found the python environment but it doesn't sometimes that doesn't work nasa video assembler for nasa assembler this time it got it it's weird sometimes it picks a different python instance okay starting from scratch i love it um New directory, NASA assembler. New directory. So I'm, I'm making stuff as packages. So that I can theoretically install them on the command line. Um, I haven't done that with these scripts, but I'm getting set up so that I can if I want to. Um, as part of the practice of getting better at doing that. So that's what this is all about. And then we're going to need a test directory. I should really look at cookie cutter, which I think assembles all this stuff for you. So new file. So test NASA assembler pi. And for this one, we're going to want to have, so I'm trying to think if I want to test. Yeah, I'm gonna to want to. I want to fake the file system because this needs to deal with some MP3 stuff as a as a final test. Um, yeah, so th I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this a different way. Um, Pi fake fs. Lock the file system. So we're going to grab this. Class NASA assembler test. And just test case with this one. Because this uses kind of a unit test thing, but it's not actually unit test. Def set up. We do self. Uh -oh. oh, we need to install Watchman thing here. Pass just so we get something there. Uh, terminal. Is there a hotkey to get to the terminal? If I mouse over it for long enough, does it show me? Oh, wait. Also, I should probably get the font up for you. Oh, it already is. I can't tell anymore. It's not, it doesn't look giant right now, but. Partially, that's because the um, terminal's not open. Tools, run, view, tool windows, terminal. Oh, well, whatever that thing is in F12, but I don't have, I can't hit the, I don't have a function key to make my keys be function keys. Or do I? Oh, what does that do? So is that this nope is that oh, i do have a function key that makes function keys go functions that's super handy to know i thought it was over on the left side but it's apparently on the right side that's awesome uh it's right here this is a very important key now that i've found it's gonna be weird to cord it but whatever uh so now we should be, able to do, should be able to do self set. Nope, didn't pick it up. Oh yeah, so we still gotta install it. Wah wah. Pip, 
install pi fake fs. It's also gonna yell at us about pip, so we'll just clear that right now. All right, so now self set up pi fake fs. And then global na, na equals NASA assembler. And then we'll just do a tone test just to call it and this will break because we don't have, whoops. Yeah, here we go. Invalid syntax in a globals. Well, it was doing that earlier. I, I, I missed it. And also that needs to have this behind it. And now let's see what happens. Should all break. Globals, what? G-L-O-B-A-L-S. Right? Is that how you spell globals? G-L-O-B-A-L-S. Maybe it's just global. I just was spelling it wrong. There we go. There's a test that fails. That took forever. And so we know what we want to do. We'll just go ahead and set this up. NASA assembler pi. I've been doing lots of new projects because these are these little bitty ones. So like I'm starting to get the hang of this this particular way of doing it. I'm not saying it's necessarily the best way to do it, but it's working for me right now. Um, we're going to close main for a minute and we're going to close just in general. So class NASA assembler pass. And I guess we should really do an integration test. First things first, um, from NASA assembler import. Oh, I didn't find it. See, it's weird the way that it, there you go, found it that way. Let's get a run. Hey, it ran, passing. So now what I wanna have is I want to give it a config file. So test integration. So we've got it there and then we're going to do load config with config path equals path to config.json. So this, I'm completely just stubbing stuff out right now. This is complete rough stuff. So in here, let's move this over here. Def that, that, just pass it. I'm not doing anything with it yet. Let's see if we get back to green. Oh, no, we did not. Oh, cause we got to pass a config path. Or we got to catch a config path. And I like that explicit thing, right? Because it gives you a, a real kick there when it misses. And then we're going to do na dot build videos. A symbol. How about we call it a symbol? A symbol videos. And that that's all we should need to do is pass the config call it like that's what we want to have happen in the main so this is going to fail right now because that doesn't exist but that's fine now it'll pass there we go and then 
what we want to have happen is so here's where we need to do tests new file. Nope, test new directory sample data. New file. I guess we just call this config.json. Sample config.json. And then we're going to have mp3 directory, mp3 root, we'll call it root, is path to mp3 files, and then output root. the output path, the output root. Because I just want to, so what I need to have, what I want to have happen is we need to, it's, this is going to make a file. So we're on the fake file system, right? Yes, we're on the fake file system. That's cool. Okay, so config path, load config, whatever, it's fine. Assemble videos, and then I want to know that output path because this is gonna do what? Self assert true. OS. It's gonna get here. True for now. I'll just put that there. Still passing. Still passing. Uh, Python file exists. You would think as many times as I've run this, I would know how to do it. Check if file exists off the top of my head, but I do not. So from pathlib import path. I'm gonna type it just to see if I can get it in my head a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if there's like a preferred order for doing that. From pathlib import path. I love PyCharm's spell check, code check. I don't know what you call that. Um, but so path. And then we're going to hard code the output path, which is going to be, oh, I just deleted it. Root slash test output target er. Because the, the video the video name the output names could be the same as the input name, so that doesn't work. So um, awesome video MP4 is file. Is that right? So this is gonna fail because that doesn't exist. False is not true. Okay, this is good. So now in our NASA assembler, assemble videos. I think we do the same thing. So from pathlib, and I'm intentionally putting this here because like this is just a stub. So I don't want to necessarily call that. Um, Does that work? Didn't run. Still didn't run. I broke something bad. 
invalid syntax from oh from from import now it's broken no such file or directory in the fake file system but I don't root Uh, make their touch hi no touch a file can you make it with pi touch file path I'm wondering if you can actually use Nectar at the same time. Implement touch using Python. Highly active question. Uh, yeah, just call it. Note itself. Use pathlib. If the directory can touch does not yet exist. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could do like a make dir in there as well. does not look like it so for touch a file with the OS module touch file blah 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 old way let's keep these notes down here um, just section that off using the path module from blah 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 and then uh, you might need note you have to make the directory if it doesn't already exist file path equals some file path Past, past path. Dot text. And then you would do pi base name. His name's Split. This is not what I was thinking of. Note C Split Text for a better way for that. But how did you do Dur name? That's what I'm looking for. Pi Dur name. Get current directory of the file. There you go. Dir name. OS and path. Okay, so where is touch again? Pi. Touch a file. Oops. Path lib, file path. You need OS. Dir name file path. Get the dir name. And go ahead and put this in, and then we have to make the directory. Pi make dir for file path. Path directory. There we go. Pi touch. Path, so their name. And I guess you could. This is kind of gross, but you could do it.
Yeah, I kind of would rather call it out, but whatever. That's cool. Calling out. It's a good song that someday I'll be able to listen to on here. So here, and we're gonna want import OS as well. A lot of work for a stub, huh? All right, run it. Test failed. False is not true. What? Some file path. Oh, path to awesome video. That's why. Let's put it in the right place. Now run it. Hey, passed. Okay, things are working as expected. I love the fake file system because you can do completely random names and it is helpful that way. You don't have to think about it. All right, so that's our stub. That's what we want to have happen. We want to con load a config. So we'll make, we'll make instant instantiate, instantiate, make the class, make it instance, instantiate, instantiation. I forgot what that word is. I think I'm close. Um, we'll make a class. We'll make an object out of the class, make an instance object out of the class, whatever. Um, and then we just load the config and then we'd run a symbol videos and that should do everything. Like that's, that's the process right there. Um, and then what, what that'll do. And so we'll set up a config file when we get all this stuff running that only has the one, like this, this will be the test that we actually do, but, but we'll actually build this file for real instead of just touching it. Um, so how do we go about doing that? It wants spaces there. GitHub. Basic, put basic stub in place. Okay, uh, so I'm trying to figure out what the best way to test this stuff is. So like some of this is testing the file system and testing glob, but like I really, and so there's some stuff about like, eh, don't test the file system, don't test glob or whatever, but like, I don't know. It just, it feels like that needs to be tested. Or, I don't know, it feels like sometimes that's the easiest thing to test because I can get my head around like, so the, the process is going to be, load the config file. Oh, so let's do that here. Uh, I'm going to move integration down. Def. Whoops, here, I got this. Test, load, config. Uh, let's just make sure that works. It works. Okay, so what are we gonna set up with this? We're gonna set up our MP3 root and our output root. We wanna, I just wanna do those explicitly. That's the wrong file. This is the right file. Um, so expected So we're going to test two things here. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way to do this. We're going to try it and see what happens. So that's what we want to get. And then load config. So let's just run this because this is going to pass or sorry, fail. So we're just going to do this piecemeal. No, load config. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I didn't give it a path. Right. Okay. So now we need to put in place the config file. Hi, fake, load a real file into the fake file system.
load rate file from, uh, it's probably a fake, that's what that is. Load test image, yeah, okay, so I should clean this up at some point, but um, this is the one we want. So real path is sample data, sample config. My fake sample config.json. Oh, that's it. And then our fake path is what we're going to pass as the config path when we call, I deleted it. Expected. In a load config, config path. Let's call it so we can see it this way. Config path. All right, so I think this is gonna pass. Yep, we're not doing anything with it yet. But so now, MP3 root. So if we run that, that's gonna fail. Def init self self that equals nothing now it should pass yep and then actual equals that which is gonna break uh and so i'm just gonna put this in load config self mp3 root equals that should get us passing again passing okay And now we actually want to do it for real. Um, so that's that's got our backstop. Import JSON with open config path in read mode as JSON file JSON data equals JSON load JSON file self mp3 root is json data mp3 root. I shouldn't have deleted that. I should have left it there so I could have it as a backstop in case I broke this, which I did not do. Hooray. So there's that. And then let's just go ahead and test. Here, let's move these up here. Whoops, that was weird. Let's move those up there, how about that? Expected, actual, and then we're gonna do one more. Normally I don't do too many tests in the same thing. But this one will be okay, I think. So there's that, there's that, and we want that to be the output route. So this is gonna blow up because that doesn't exist. So we're gonna set it up. And then self output root equals JSON data output root. Run it. Okay, there are passing. Okay, so now we've got our config loaded. Load config. Yeah, so the next step is to get the MP3 file list. And this is one of those where I'm testing on the files or I'm testing the file system. Cause I'm just gonna pass uh I'm gonna pass a method, the directory, and it's gonna return a file or it's gonna set the file list for us. Whoops. 
which is like, I don't know, I hear these arguments, or not arguments, but like I've heard like, ah, don't test the file system or don't do whatever, but like, I'm doing it. Like, I like this. This is good. So. Um. Load config. Are all the tests running? Oh no. Oh no. Broke something. What did it break? Path to config.json. Oh, because the thing config's actually running now. Haha. <laughs> See, that's the trick with the integration stuff, but I still want to, I still want that to work. So maybe we lift this load. out here self fake config and we load that in self fake config there And then here, self fake config. So does this test run if we do that? No. I may have gotten far away. File exists in fake file system. Oh, 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 because I'm trying to do it twice. There we go. So that's passing. And we don't need that. That's still passing? That's passing. Okay, cool. I love that you can just run one test. Like, at first I was kind of ho hum about that, but like, it's super handy. And so here, we don't need this. We're actually just going to load this and then run. And now we're going to run everything. We're testing. Okay, cool. Load config in both tests. T E S T S. All right, so that's got the config file loaded. It's one of those warbly songs I don't like. I should make it go away, is what I should do. Which I don't seem to be able to do. Why not? still playing but whatever I really I mean I guess there's like there's a few hundred songs in here but I've heard them all because I've whatever do this a bunch whatever um totally broke my concentration So now we want to load the files. So we'll stub this out. Load file. List. So that runs. Cool. In a load file list. See, this is where I'm not sure how to do this, but I think this is okay, because we're gonna call the assembly, and the assembly is gonna chunk through these methods. I think is the way to do that. So, 
main is just gonna be load the class or load the object, send the, the config and call assembly. So that, that's all that we want it to do. Assembly then needs to know what to do. Like it, it's gonna be the internal manager. Well, yuck. Um, the internal thing of a Bob. Like, and I, I don't know like if this is the right way to do this or like the preferred way to do this or the best practice way to do this or whatever, but like it's making sense to me and I've probably I'm reinventing a wheel that's been very well invented and I'm missing big parts of it. But that's what happens sometimes when you don't have experience yet. So def load file list go pass. So this will get us passing. Whoops. This will get us passing. And then now what I want to do is so set up the expected thing that I'm looking for, which is going to be a list with one item in it, which is going to be what's our sample config path to MP3 files. Test file alpha MP3. Sometimes with these lists, historically, I've put like two or three of them in there, but that makes it way harder to test. So it's a list, even though it only has one item. So cool. And then, so here's our actual again. Got it. And then, so we've loaded the file. So really what we need to do now is actual, if we spell it right, equals NA file list. Because we've loaded it and now it should be ready to go. One, it doesn't exist. Two, it doesn't have the right thing in it. So we'll fix both of those things right now. So one, we'll make sure it exists. Self file list is a list. And then here, we're actually gonna set it here as well. Self, that's one thing about Python that does get me a little bit is I wish you had to, I wish you had to initialize things and I get it, whatever, it's fine, but still from here. All right, we're passing, get rid of this one. Passing do, 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 do. And then, so now I need to put in test file alpha here um because I need to have it something to glob onto it's like glom onto but glob onto uh create file I don't know about this blue and these colors anymore. I need to change them up. They're not, I'm not digging them. So we want to create that path. And then over here, we need to import glob J, ABCF, G, H, I, J, okay, it comes before. Import glob. And our config's loaded, right? So I don't wanna go through the full process of loading the config, cause that's testing it. So all I'm gonna do is directly set the, oh, that's even better. That's even better because I can totally split this out. So I can totally make this its own thing. MP3, which I like. So I don't want to have to load that config because that's another method. So this will just be strictly its own thing. And to further help that separation, I'll give it its own unique path. MP3 trove. 9,000. So realistically, we're looking for this, which this is going to crash. 
Unless we do this. Make sure we're still passing. Still passing. So we've created that file. Now we need to glob it. But in order to glob it, we need to get... Well, so let me, let me start with this. No, 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 no. Let me get let me get it all set up first. Otherwise, we'll end up in trouble. Um, in a output root equals. Nope. MP3 root. So this is where it's nice that you can just set stuff arbitrarily. He says right after complaining about it. Oh, this is kind of gross. Expected actual indie load file list. Not sure what the best. This is, I'm purely looking at aesthetics right now when I shouldn't be. Um, so this should still pass because we haven't done anything. But now we can go through and we're going to go through. First thing I'm going to do is just do it this way. Just to make sure it compiles. Oh, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't append. You would just straight put it in there. Okay. So we can do this self file list equals glob magic check bytes hmm. don't know what those are sound awesome though glob glob and we're gonna do let's do an f string with self mp3 root slash and we're just gonna get them all so anything under there Oh, this is interesting. So what I need to do. No, it doesn't matter because it's only going to be in the output directory. That's fine. And if I overwrite one because I've got the same name, I'm not worried about that. Maybe. Um, well, I wouldn't overwrite it. It just wouldn't write because it would see that it's there and it's not going to write it. So if we run that, it should still compile if we run the test file, which we just did in the past. Let's run that. So now let's drop this in and actually use it. Run it. Test failed. Boom. Ooh. What if we do that? That passed. Oh, so we can't do... I thought you could do star star star. That's gonna just keep working, right? Yeah. So that's any anything, but I thought MP three root. What's that gonna do? That passed. I thought you had to have a slash there to get the different directories. Whoops, ran the wrong one. That is not the case. So let's run, let's actually do another test here just to see. File create. And then let's do subdir. It's going to crash if it works. So it didn't crash. So it didn't find that file. How do you pi 
I see you are a recursive glob uh, find. This could be like recursive equals true or something. Glob. Yeah, so you want to find recursive. Wait, we can use the glob glob function, glob i glob. Oh, there's in sensitive. Directly from the glob module to retrieve paths recursively from inside the directories or files and subdirectories and subfiles. No, recursive set to true followed by the path separator dot slash slash will match any files or directories. Glob recursive true. Okay, so that is it. You just need to do So what we're hoping is that this crashes, but it crashes because it's got two things in it instead of one. Yeah, so it picked it up. F extra first element, first extra element, one additional element, perfect. Okay, so that's how you do it. Pi glob recursive. Uh, Find files. Uh, SQLite QR code. I forgot about that. Find count doc. Glob. Basic. Huh. Oh, list files and directories. That's what we want. File list, glob, glob. Root path, star, star. Okay. And I keep looking for find. So we're gonna do find and list files in a directory there. That way I can find it a little easier. Ah, find, find. All right, so this is cool. When we remove that file, it should be back to green. Yep. And the green there. So that gets our file list. Yeah, iso isolation, 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 right? So now that we've got our file list, we loop through the file list. And as we loop through the file list, we get the time for the file. Trying to figure out if I want it, how I want to do this. I might want to make another class for the file. I feel like I do. I did that last time. Um, but it was much more complicated last time. So I'm not going to do that yet. We're just gonna keep working on it. And if it hammers out later or falls out, we'll we'll do it. But right now I'm gonna keep it in this. Whoops. So
Um, just bring that in. Uh, we should do this. Git file list. Git file life. It's like list. Mm. I do think I want to make another file. All right, so this will be an interesting test. Um, Cause I haven't, yeah, this is actually a good time to do this. Cause I haven't actually done this yet. So with this type of setup, new file, test, MP3 file pi. Yeah, this is better. I like this, this is nice. So we still want to fake the file system. So I'm just going to copy that. All right, I'm going to drop out an asset assembler for a minute. Even though this really, I don't think this is going to do that much, but that's okay. Class MP3 file test test case def set up self go set up oh wait oh self set up pi fake fs there you go mp3 equals mp3 file global mp3 and so if we just put in this as a stub it should break it broke because we don't have anything there yet. File mp3 file.py class mp3 file pass from NAS assembler mp3 file import mp3 file now if we pass we're passing okay so here we also have to get the exif tool so test duration So when you make an MP3 file on a NIT, like you can't make a file without having the file there. So it's not like you need to say, make the object and then load the file. Like you, the, the file is the thing, right? This is the wrapper around the thing. So we can actually do this, MP3, path equals mp3 path mp3 path equals the mp3 the dir for the mp3 dot mp3 uh the music file yeesh file.mp3 so this is going to crash because we're passing something it doesn't know how to deal with takes no arguments what if we fix that so I think you do that here right def init self star mp3 path self mp3 path equals mp3 path run it passing okay cool get this out of here for a second get that out of here for a second because that doesn't matter so and switch these so they're in the right order all right so let's find a file that we can actually test with no, this is wrong there 
Trove, Music, that one. Oh, how about Hyperspeed? Sounds awesome. NASA Assembler. Tests. Sample data. Hyperspeed. See, I need the actual file there because we're reading the XIF data off of it. Um, tests. Sample data. EXIF tool. Hyper speed. Oh, it doesn't have duration. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. Right here. That was going to be a super bummer if it didn't have duration. Oh, I need to see. There's different stuff that could happen in these files. Um, but that's okay. I can crash hard if it's not there. And that'll let me deal with it. Because um, I... Yeah, it needs to basically crash hard if it's not there. And I can add... Because there's different ways that this stuff can be formatted and different ways it can come into play. Um, so I'll code for the ones that I know. And like this approx would throw it off. Um, yeah, okay, cool. And also, I want it to be totally in seconds so it's 60 that's 108 seconds thankfully i can do 60 plus 40 in my head i think 108 seconds 108 seconds so that's gonna be the same and then actual is gonna be mp3 duration which isn't a thing, so it's going to blow up. So I guess we should make, we call that as a method and then have it return itself, or return the value, I think is the better way to do that. Well, there's also the way that you can do it where you can set it if it's not been there or whatever, but no, this will be fine. Duration self go return 108. Whoops. We'll do 109 just to make sure that's working. Yeah. And then 108 we should go green. Okay. So there's a duration. And now we can actually do this and make this work. So to start with, we actually need to put the MP3 file there. Um, helper copy real file to fake, real to fake. Real path. I think you can do this in here, right? Fake path. Test NASA assembler. So real path and then fake path. So we've got real path. fake path guess we can just do this just doesn't have test on it so mp3 path fake mp3 path Real MP3 
path equals sample data hyper or something hyper speed self copy real path equals real mp3 path fake path fake mp3 path so that'll move that should move the file in place let's see if that works and then this needs to be fake mp3 path See if this works. It worked there. Does it work everywhere? Why is there only one test passing? Oh, because there is only one test. This is the setup, the test, and that's a helper. OK. Let me actually put this in my notes. Hi, fake. Mock file system. Boom. This works as a helper for Helper for below. All right, so we've got that. We're loading the file. Uh, we're going to need sub process here. Because we need to get Where's my subprocess run with all my craziness on it? Subprocess run, but where's all the path stuff? How did I lose that? To pull standout directly without standard error in a way that will still capture just standout, use this. This is for Python 3. Subprocess. This is the one I'm looking for. So EXIF tool for self MP3 path. Whoops. Weird that that hooked. What is that? Why did that jump over to a new line? It's weird. current response. So let's just see what happens here. Test failed. That's what's happened. Missing one num bytes. What? Standard out read. I'll tell this isn't going to work. We got slow process. This used to work. What? Type error, read, missing one required positional argument. Where am I calling read? Oh, 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 oh. This is, this is this that's failing. Nope, it's not. Is this that's failing? It was this, okay. Oops, we're on this. Come on. Read missing one required positional argument num bytes. EXIF tool self mp3 path. What if we just do this? Here, what if we do this? LS with nothing else. Just LS. Can you run LS? No. So this code's wrong somehow, which is weird. Pi external process, execute external command. Call external process. No, that's old. 
capturing log in a variable, getting this should be it. What is going on? Get just a standout with see this below. So you can call it that way, but I want to get this was working to determine to determine differ with standout here. Yeah, see, I was messing with my notes and. Prior to three five call to do determine different with standout here. So run standout decode. Run. Oh, it's got this pipe subprocess thing. That made it just do stand. I'm really confused why this isn't working. Same code works. Import subprocess, response, subprocess, delete it, go. Maybe there's a copy and paste thing going on? Nope. Type error, re what? fails the Google very easy to improve surprise never got a response you actually created an object you actually have not created an object yet that's not what this is What if we just take this out? Still doesn't work. None type. I don't get it. It must be something with It's not running it. That's standard out. Run. That decode. There's nothing in standard out. But like LS has something. Oh. So process run. I think I goofed. No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Nope, none of this is the same. So process p open type error. Missing read, non bypes run. I want to solve this because like this is the way that I do stuff.
P open. Oh, no, go away. It won't go away. I can't get the axe. There it is. Yeah, everything about this is all about the class stuff. Three nine. External process. So it may be like a Python environment thing. Async IO, that sounds like not where I want to go. Create sub process. Create sub process shell. Asynchronous sub process pipe, stand out. What is this under? Process. Sub process run. So this is where we're getting it. So args is here. And then we're going stand out to sub process pipe. Maybe if we just do a straight decode there. I didn't like that. Getting real time output using Python. Yeah, all right. Let's take a look at it. So, yeah, I'm not trying to synchronous it. So, I have a command. This is what's weird. So, I've got this command. I'm trying to run exif tool on an MP3 file to get its duration. And this is the command that I've used in the past to run an external command and grab the grab the response. I've got another one that can do it, but this one works here, right? So if I do this, this loads. But the exact same command isn't running inside here, uh, which is this. Here, let's just paste it back in to make sure, right? Paste. So when I run this, it explodes and it gives me this type error read missing one, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know what's going on. And I've got sub process called. So I'm trying to figure that out. Like I, I've got another command that I could do this with, but I want to figure out why this isn't working. Um, I can put on programs with an eye on a fish. I'm gonna capture the output. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sub process. Oh, shell X. I haven't seen that one before. Lexical analysis of shell shell style syntaxes. Say that eight times. Um, let me do this. Link so Actually, let me throw this to here so it's in my actual browser. Sub process P open. Right. So stand out. To run a process and read all of its outputs, set standout value to pipe and call communicate. Okay, this is different than what I've done. Hmm, okay. Sub process communicate. What's the list of that? Is that just the first? Stand out, format, stand out. Yeah, it's just grabbing the first line is what that's doing, I think. So hang on, let me play with this for a second. This is cool, thank you. Let me see how this goes. Uh, I just wanna throw this in here. That didn't copy at all. I'll try that again. Oh, you have, okay, cool, slick. 
This makes this makes sense. So like, I'm with it. Except when I don't actually print it. Let's try printing it. Right. Oh, it's coming back in that. So you probably want to do decode UTF eight, right? Is that how that works? Or does that have to be capitals? There you go. Um, it's got the quotes around it. I want to see what that does. I'm just trying stuff. Nope. Blew up. Um, oh, you make it a string if it's bits. No, it still has the quotes around it. How do we get rid of the quotes? Uh, because like it shouldn't. I don't want the quotes around the thing. And also, let's do this. What if we do ls? Oh, it's got quotes in the. Pff. Sorry, it's got quotes up in there. That works. I don't think we need the string. So zero is the full output. Okay, and it's doing it line by line. If we drop the decode, yeah, it's doing it as bits or binary or whatever. So that's that. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Thank you. That's very cool. Now let's see if it actually works in, uh, in yield this thing. So getting rid of this. Subprocess. EXIF tool self mp3 path stand out i'm just going to print it see if it, we get it mm, failed but how did it fail resource warning subpross No, oh, we got that read one bytes again thing. I do not get it. I don't get it. Yeah, so yeah, sorry. You you saw the quotes before I did. Um So this is in. A, so the only thing I can think of is this is in a Python virtual environment somehow. That is freaking it out. But like, why? And if we take UTF, the UTF stuff off of this. I might know what's going on. So I'm in a fake file system here. No, but that shouldn't have... Oh, let's try echo. Let's do an echo. No, still blew up. I wonder if this is writing to some temp file somewhere. Because I've got a fake file system built. Because it's doing, it keeps giving me this read, missing one required parameter. I'm about to not care. I'm about to move on to something else with our, a different way of doing that that hopefully will work. Because let me see. Let me just make sure. No, so yeah, echo. Just make sure I'm really doing the thing here, right? We're testing it? Yeah, we're testing it. Self standout read. Missing one required positional argument, num bytes. File, so process. I don't know, it's I'm something's worked there. Um we're gonna try it the other way. Uh, 
and hopefully this works. Because if this doesn't work, I then trickier stuff is going to happen. I'm in the wrong file. All right, let's get rid of this for now. Let's keep this. We're going to just hide all that for a minute. Was it OS system? What is it? Yeah, OS system. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, LS, L, whatever. Oh, I wonder if there's not a system there. That'd be funny. Um, response equals this. Print response. I think this works. I hope this works. I hit passed. And it printed some files for me. Okay, we're just going to use this. EXIF tool. Here, we'll do this as an F string. Yeah, I have no idea why that didn't work. Um, it might be something with the, the I'm using pike fake, pi fake FS. Um, at some point, maybe I'll get around to testing that and seeing if that's what's happening. But right now this is working and I'm not, this isn't that critical a thing. So it's, uh, if it freaks out a little bit, um, that's it. Oh, what's the error? Sorry, I'm not seeing all your text yet. You get over here and see it. Uh, so the error was, I'm going to put this back in, import subprocess. The error we're getting today is, uh, So is that asynchronous? I guess is one question, because it's getting an assertion failed. But the other one that is thrown it that we saw with the other sub process is this: type error, read, missing one required positional argument, num bytes, and then it's coming off. And this is where I don't get it because it's coming off this self standout read, which must be just how it goes through the mess of picking everything else up. Um, you don't see that directly in here, but it's got to be something in the p open or in this this part um but that's the same error i got so if we take this out and put this one actually doesn't matter if that's there or not and put this one in which is my this is the one that i used to use same basic thing with the error the same error so that's where it's freaking out and like, I don't understand why. Um, it's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's all good. Yeah, I'm just going to punt and go to the other one. Because I don't get it. It exploded. Right, so here we go. We're going to get this EXIF tool print, and we're going to do self MP3 path. Let's see what we get there. Hopefully, we get some MP3 data. Two fifty six is a weird number. File not found. Oh, the file, the music file isn't there yet. I got to put the file in place. Progress. Uh, real file, fake file. So this should be here. So I'm, yeah, I'm using fake FS. So I need to put an actual MP3 file on there for it to test, for it to grab. Uh, test duration, text duration, MP3 duration. Wait, so why didn't it get that? Copy from real to fake. Create the fake path as the read. So that should have put it there. Why didn't it get it? File not found. Eder for the music. Music file MP3, right? On the wrong file. 
you go away. The door for the music, MP3. Real path. Copy fake to real. Real path to fake MP3 path. And then we load that. That was the whole purpose of that, was using those variables so that they all went. Why didn't this work? Oh, come on. Uh, I don't know why that didn't work. Uh, we're just going to do it this way then and see if this works. It's a little gross, but whatever. So, open real path as real file. So here's our real thing, and there's our that thing, and here's our fake thing, and there's our fake thing, and here's our fake path, which we're gonna... Oh, shit. Well, maybe that'll work. Test failed. Everything exploded. String has no attribute read. Oh. Open real MP3 path is real file. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this needs to be this. Still failing. Oh, I broke everything. File exists in the face. So it already exists. So it is putting it there. Um, so self pause and self resume. Um, so in the fake file system, uh, everything exists in the fake file system as soon as you put that in there. But what I need to have is an actual MP3 file in there. So pause says to the fake file system, Hey, the, the open operation that I'm about to do, let that, ha let that actually happen on the real file system. And then, res so I open the file from the real file system and I do resume, which says, okay, now when I start messing with it, go to the fake file system again. So that this this pause, open, resume is how I copy a file from the real file system into the fake file system. So like, here's the real path, which actually I wanna reverse these because I like the real one better, or I like the real one first. Um, so that's sitting here under sample hyperspeed.mp3. And then the fake path, you just make it up and it just writes the file there. Um, so that's that's what those are for. And it looks like they're working because it won't let you. So this as this self FS create file won't let you overwrite a file. It warns you if it already exists. So it's putting it in up here because this is failing. What I don't understand. Oh, crap. I know why. This is all happening inside Python. But as soon as I call it EXIF tool, it's outside of Python. The fake file system is only over here. It's not in AXF tool. Oh, crap. Um, oh, I guess I could just call it direct now. Come on. How's that going to work? Yeah, so yeah, that that works in the fake path. Doing the check I check is file or whatever. Um but it's that that trick I'm running into now is like Python has a different world than EXIF tool. And I got to figure out how to bridge that gap. Is there a Python EXIF tool? Oh, it's just a wrapper. I looked at this earlier. But it may. Here, let's see what happens. Because if this works and I can get to it, uh, terminal, uh, imp pit import. Let's try it. Install. Did not like that. Could not find a version that satisfies the requirement. Okay, what's it called? 
they don't tell you how to install it. So that's kind of a bummer. PyEX I have to get, maybe? Hey, found it. All right, so, oh, I'm about to sleep. Yeah. I wonder if that, I still think that must be something, I, I, I bet it's the fake file system that's freaking that out. Like somehow it must do a something with a file. I don't know. That's just not there that it can't do. Uh, but whatever. We're at least calling, we've at least got it called. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this straight in here for now. With that as ET. Get made a database. So why do you show an example with a bunch of files? Just show one. Start simple. All right. We'll just copy the whole thing and only put one file in there. How about that? Self MP3 path. Let's see what this does. It exploded. It exploded a lot. Trace mount, yeah, we saw that earlier. Bad file descriptor. Bad file descriptor. During handle event, bad file descriptor. Yeah, it really didn't like this at all. Execute JSON, JSON loads. What's all this stuff? Get metadata batch. Press a stand and write, stay open, false, whatever. Yeah, it's all it's all fried. Thought that might be the case. So this is just testing. I could actually point to. I could just point to the file directly on this one, because right now I'm just trying to get the duration. And I'll do so. I'll just I'll get this test passing, and then we'll figure the rest of it out later. Uh, so with that, I still want this to glob for the file system, so that's still fine. Reads from the copy part before. I delete that. Uh, here, let's check it. If we do this, yeah, everything's alive. It's still doing this because it's jumping out to the file system. So all the rest, uh, yeah, so let's actually see what happens if we just do two of these or just that line. Yeah, it just goes haywire. Yeah, it's all kinds of messed up. Enable trace malloc. That is... Oh, so process is still running. Uh oh, that's bad. I wonder how many machines, or how many uh, zombie processes I've got running now. Yeah, OS write self FD contents. I don't know why it's trying to write, but it's not gonna be able to hit the file system because there's not like a file system there. I don't know. But so for now, I'm just gonna punt because I just need this to equal 108 hitting the file somehow. So if we do that self pause thing again, and then run it. But then we pass it. I'm going to make it a, a new thing here.
where I'm going to hard code the path into sample data hyperspeed. There we go. See, now I've backed off the, the test file system and I'm doing this. I'd, I'd prefer not to do that, but um, just put it back in place there. Uh, okay, so that now I can work on it. Um, I'll just get rid of all this junk. I don't. I still don't know why that wasn't doing it. Uh, and actually, let me see. I have another one of these video assembler. Let's open video assembler because this is like my second version of this. What am I looking for? Video assembler. It'd be kind of nice if those were alphabetical. Okay, this is like my 30th version of this. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, how long have I been working with Python? Uh, not that long. Kind of on and off for a few years, but I don't do a whole lot of coding. So anymore, I used to do more, uh, but like I've really been in Python for a year, maybe, I don't know. Time's been weird recently, um, but I've been way more intense on it over the past six weeks, eight weeks, six months. Um, and then stuff that I normally work on is uh, I work with data analytics but I'm more the person who just tries to help figure stuff out. I don't do a lot of coding. Um, I try and help make sure that the, the software is working the way it should, that if we need to get something set up in Amazon, like how do we go figure that stuff out? So I don't do a lot of coding these days, except for stream stuff, which is one of the reasons I'm doing more stream stuff. Um, how about you? Are you, uh, you a coder? Uh, you definitely seem like it based off some of your uh, pitches there for watching error messages and uh, catching quotes in s double quotes and single quotes. Good eye on you. Uh, I missed that for like 10 minutes. Uh, MP3. When is working? Am I already in it? No, what's going on? It's freaking out. And what do you, what, and sec follow up question what's your main language or what? I look, I'm not picky or religious or whatever about any of this stuff. I'm always just curious. So like, what do you, what are you into these days? Language wise or project wise or all that jazz. Yeah. See, here's the, here's the exact same thing that ran for a while in the other process. Uh, so I am just going to grab this exact same thing. and paste it in because we already did this. That is the wrong thing. This is the right thing. So response this time is going to equal this. So we're going to need RE. Let's actually import RE. There you go. So there's our response. We're pulling in from the path. Here's a duration. Why is that all freaked out? It doesn't like that at all. Otherwise, subprocess running XF tool match duration. Okay, so I need to call that again. I don't know why I need to call that again. That's kind of a weird setup, but it worked before. Again, why is duration flipping out here? Are you search? That should work. Let's see what happens when we run it. Kaboom. Expected string. Uh.
when all else fails, try UTF-8. I don't think that's going to work. That doesn't get called. I get that. All right, let me just back this up and see if we can get it to uh, to at least process. Let's take this back out. No, oh, here's yeah. Okay, so that's returning. We don't return that. That's fine. Whoops. React, Python, C sharp, Rust. Nice. <laughs> got the full got the full gambit going on. Huh? Um, I just started um, playing with React two days ago. Uh, I'm reading Road to React, which, eh, it's like, um, I don't know, I'm really picky about tutorials. Like, I've got enough experience that I can kind of like figure out what's going on with them, but like, there's a bunch of things where it's like, go read this other thing, go read this other thing. It's like, well, I'm here, show me the stuff that I want to know. You can't read? Oh no. Uh, can you read code or music? Uh, or Braille? I got nothing. Also, I have no idea why this isn't working. Expected string or byte like object. Wait, but it's working. Oh, wait, that's just calling it. It's not returning it. Ah, crap. I may be in trouble. Um, Python capture standout. Well, it's from 2012, so. Sub process. Oh, I guess, oh, this would be a thing to try. So when I've got it paused, let's try that again. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of them other than that's one of the better ways that I learned just because like there's not, like there's so much stuff out there that's all over the place. I'm better off with like a consistent through line instead of like jumping around and jumping around. Um, so I tend to like books early in the process of learning something, even if they're not that great. Uh, just because it's like I at least get a sync. I, I can stay on track and on narrative. And then I also, I only have to go search once. So like I pick a book and I go do it. I don't have to kind of sit there and go, oh, here's the tutorial, here's the tutorial. Like that bouncing around stuff, I mean, it's fine, but it doesn't, I, I learn better the other way. Um, so that's why I did do the book thing. Yeah, Google your so yeah, exactly. Um, Reacts enough, like since it's like the framework stuff, I wanted to get into it. You know, if it was just a language, I'd probably jump straight into it kind of the same way you're talking about. Um, I'd still want to read up a little bit on it um, because, it, you know, it's same, it's syntax, right, mainly. Uh, but with like the framework stuff and also I haven't done JavaScript in a long time. So it's good to kind of like go through and, and see what's going on. Um, I think once I'm more grounded in JavaScript again, that type of stuff won't be as much. And also, like, I figure I'm probably going to do Python and React for a while. Um, the C Sharp is interesting. I've, I've never done C Sharp. Um, or Rust. Rust, I've, I know a bunch of people have been talking about, and it's kind of intrigues me. Um, and then I do, I'm also interested a little bit in Go, because I use uh, uh, Hugo, uh, the static site generator for my website which is written in Go, which is super fast. Um, I mean, the rendering is. So uh, I, I've had to learn a little bit about Go's syntax just to mess with their template. It's Go templates, basically. Um, so I had to learn just a little bit about that. Uh, all right, but we're gonna test this again. So we're gonna take our response out here and we're gonna put our response in here. I still don't know why it does that weird thing. Oh, maybe it's breaking on the thing? I don't know. LS, LA, whatever. I should actually 
change this to that. Oh, that's all right. There you go. Okay, so let's see what happens this time. Uh, here, let's take this out. Test passed. So something with the fake file system is what's messing with it. Because when I... I'll bet if I turn this off and then this off, it explodes again. Yep. Something about fake FS just doesn't work with it. Okay, we won't use fake FS for that. We will get away from it. Oh, really? Talking about stuff? Nice. Or talking about Rust, that's cool. Um, yeah, I I haven't, tell you the truth, I haven't even looked at the language. I don't even know what it looks like. Um, get started. Getting started. Curl. Okay. That's not Rust. So simple. Nope. Compiling. Adding dependencies. Build. Is this Hello World? Use here, CC. From previous step. Use standard IO. Okay. Function main. Let's stand out. Equal standout. Message string from hello fellow Rust, Rustians, Rust, Rustachians. String from, okay, maybe. Let width message characters count. Oh, that's cool. Let mutt, I don't know what mutt is. Mutable, maybe? Writer. Buffer writer, new standout dot lock. Okay. Say, which I'm guessing is print. Messages bytes. Oh, okay, interesting. With what's right? Wow, that's a hell of a hello world. Oh, does it make all that? Now, where does it make all that stuff from? Oh, that must be... Oh, Ferris says. Okay, okay, okay. That's like cow say. I gotcha. That's a little... That's a little fancy for me for Hello World. Like, that's cool and all, but like, just give me the basics. Yeah, it, bingo. I was I was right there. Um and I that see that's one of the things that frustrates me a little bit like with some of the stuff cuz it's like when I'm new to it, let me just see like the bare minimum of it to know what's going on so I can type it once and see it go. Then we can do all this other stuff. But like first steps first. Which is not how I mean some stuff does that, but like um uh, one of the things I struggle with with a bunch of tutorial stuff, um, like I've been doing some Django stuff, and it's like, edit this file, edit this file, edit this file, edit this file, hit run, and it'll magically appear. And it's like, often you misspell something in one of those four things, and then you've got no clue where it is. And it's just like, ugh, not, not my favorite. Um... Okay, so we can call, yeah, so we don't need to use this. So we can call that. I'm gonna put subprocess back, back, whoops. Ah, everything exploded. Oh, we got subprocess. I'm gonna get OS out of there. We're gonna keep RE, because we're definitely gonna need that. If I just, here, actually, we're gonna go, where's that other file? We're just gonna copy this directly and paste it in and see what happens. Total seconds, file path. We don't want file path there, file path there. We want that to be self MP3 path, which we can do with this. 
in this. I don't know why duration's green. All right, run it, see what happens. Hey, it passed. And it returned total seconds. So it found 108 seconds. <sighs> that should have taken two minutes. Three minutes. Um, but that fake file system stuff, that's a bummer. Uh, let me just make sure that really is a thing. So if I change this to 109. Yeah, it explodes. All right. And then 108. There we go. Okay, so we're passing. Let's see what Hello World it really looks like here. Okay. There we go. Now I'm in. Print line with a bang. Is a macro that prints text in the console. Cool. The binary can be generated using the Rust compiler. Rust C. And produce hello. Binary. Oh yeah, so it makes binaries. See, that's really cool. That's so I spent the past few days working on Python scripts to use pipx to make installable Python tools. Um like so like I've got one now that's like snake case names. Um, which is just a Python tool or it's written in Python, but it's a command line tool, right? I mean, and it's not just a script that actually gets packaged up in its own virtual environment and all this other jazz. Um, but like, I'm super interested in like the whole thing of like, write something in a language, compile it, make a thing. It's like, I've never really done that before other than like hello world and Java and whatever. So I'm um, rust is rust is on the way. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be this week, but it's on the way. All right, what else? So I've got the duration. So the assembler. All right, let me walk through this for a second. So. Oops, nothing in there. Oh, well, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, where's my test thing here? Because that kind of has the path, right? So we make the assembler. We load the config. And then we call a simple video. Yeah, so this, this is the integration test. This should all still work, right? And screwed with any of that? Okay. Um, and so, so far, that's the wrong file. Uh, here, let's move you over here so we can see what's going on. All right, so we're loading our config. Assemble videos. Load file list. So symbol videos needs to call load file list. So that gets our list of files. And then for each file. Here, let's start putting some of this stuff in. Uh, bu, 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 path. What am I doing with this path? Oh yeah, we're just touching the files. Okay. So that's this is that's how we get to green. So that's cool. Um. So we want to load our file list and then for file in self file list. Whatever print file. I just want to run this for a second. Uh, it didn't print anything. Did I not run the right test? Run that test. Um, that should have done a thing. Unless I'm missing it somewhere. Launch Python. Da, 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 da. Run test one. Okay, why didn't that print anything? Oh, I bet I know why. There's no There's no files in that particular list yet. Or in that particular thing. Ah oh, crap. 
I'm gonna have to deal with this fake FS stuff isn't gonna work. I'm just gonna have to rip it out. Oh, it's a pain. I thought it was gonna be helpful. It's not. It it has been helpful in the past, 48 hours. Um, but now that I've got to use this external tool, it's it's bummer. Yeah, EXEs, yeah, or ex executables, whatever. Yeah, that, that looks super interesting. I'm really curious about that. Um, right now, my thought is, I could say junk all this and write it in Rust and just learn Rust that way. Oh, crap. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. Crap, I got to do a bunch of stuff again. Oh, it sucks. All right, well, let me back through this and see if I can figure it out. So fake file system. Oh, I'm going to have to actually load it. Yeah, we got to pause this whole thing. All right, we're just going to make a whole new integration test because that's... I'm not going to try and figure that one out. Test integration to So self.pause. We're just going to kill the thing there. I don't know if we need to resume it later or not. We're just going to do that just in case. Okay, so it doesn't have anything with it. It's the config file that we're gonna load. Okay, that's fine. So, in a load config, config path is gonna be sample data, sample config. Underscore real. So this should blow up because that doesn't exist, right? Okay, cool. So now we're going to make this new file with that name. There we go. And then now it's going to blow up. And I'm just checking to make sure stuff's working here. It should blow up because the uh, it's missing variables. Yeah, key or mp3 root. Okay. Just making sure everything's working. mp3 root. So... I'm just gonna make a completely separate thing, mp3 root. So tests, oops. Tests, mp3 root. And we're gonna make a copy of the other file there. I just don't wanna mess with the ones that are already, the ones that are already in there. Like, I'm not gonna, mess with any of that other crap. I'm just gonna let it sit and then move on. Um, assembler test. So we're gonna grab our sample data. I should have spread the this out anyways. Now it is. So that's there. And then output root. Forgot how to type. Tests output root. New directory, output root. All right, so test NAS assembler. So let's just see what this does. One test pass, everything passing? Everything's passing. Um, all right, and so we're gonna do our, what are we gonna do? We're gonna assemble the videos. And so this may blow up, yeah. Permission denied for the, right, okay, because this is trying to do...
Wait, why did that blow up? That doesn't make sense. A simple video. Oh, because I've got something hard coded, right? Oh, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, hang on. I'll just get rid of this. Get rid of all this stuff. Yay, Velcro's back. That's what I feel like right now. What's up? Having a good Sunday evening? I am losing track of days like nobody's business. Possibly it's all the coding. Uh, I'm actually off for the next few days too, which is awesome. I will be streaming a lot. Uh, all right, so let me just pass this. So this should be the only thing that's calling it. Oh, actually, no, I should do. Hang on, I want to put a note in here. Note. Sub process run does not work with, does not work, does not work out of the box with pi fake fs. There may be, there's probably a way to do it, um, but not so good. A little bit late. I'm going to go for a little bit more. I'm, I don't know. I have more energy than normal at this time of night, but like that'll probably fade in the next 20 minutes. I don't want to go too late because if I, I got to really watch messing up my sleep schedule because that can like, uh, you know, mess with me in bad ways. So we don't do that. Um, Call a simple video. But yeah, um, oh, I'm gonna stretch my back though a little bit because that's kind of nice. Oh, I feel like gee, I get you, Lilo. Is that Lilo and Stitch? Is that who that is? Never seen that. Should watch it. It's probably pretty good. Uh, test assembly. So run it. All right, everything's passing. Is everything passing? Hey, everything's passing. Okay, so now we need to see if a file exists. Self-assert true. So let's see if we can make this one go. Whoops. Oh, come on. Path is just gonna be tests, output root. What are we calling the file in here? Hyperspace, hyperspeed, hyperspace. MP3. So this is going to fail because that doesn't exist. False is not true. Yes. Okay, cool. So now we're just going to touch the file because I want to get, I need to get back to green here with this assembly thing. Um, so that. I don't need to make the directory. I just need to touch the file. So we're going to do that with that, that. This, this, whoops, guess we only need those. All right, passing? No. Nope. No such file directory. Test, I'll put, oh, is this going from a different, ah, where does this get run from? Dev, NASA, assembler, assembler. Tests, output root, copy that, whoops. We're gonna use that full path. This is not the way I wanted to do this at all. Yep, okay, so we made the file, that's cool. Uh, well, in the early 2000s, no, I was in my 20s in the early 2000s. Uh, wait, is that right? 
Yes. Maybe. I'm bad at math. I should know the answer to that. Yeah, 20s. Whatever. Uh... Yes, I was in my 20s in the early 2000s. Wow, time is weird. You can do the math and figure out how old I am now. Old, but not really these days. Uh, yeah, I, I never saw Lilo and Stitch. Um, yep. Oh wait. That's like all the Disney stuff. Did they like bring in the cast of thousands? There's one in every family. Interesting. Hmm. Spoilers. Um. Ah, appreciate that. <laughs> uh. I have a young, f I don't know. Um, when you stay inside all day and don't get sunlight because you're coding, it helps. You don't get as many, like, you know, whatever. Um, you also get a very pale complexion. Uh, all right, where are we going? So that's running. Now the trick is I need to kill this file because that, that file is going to be there forever, which is why I didn't want to do this, but I don't have a good way around that for the integration test. Pi fake FS sub process. Because if I can solve this, it would be great. You're right, it's been quite many places were not supported correctly as the initial invitation, Python 2, not 3. Unfortunately, it can produce concrete problem Windows machine. Okay, I just looked into this, got it right yesterday, a little tired. Unfortunately, you seem to be out of luck here. There are indeed some string byte issues that we may fix. I'll look at these later, but the actual execution code calls OS functionality that cannot be changed to use the fake file system, as far as I can see, sorry for that. My own approach would be to mock subprocess to be able to check the calling arguments and not try to run an executable in the test at all. Trick is I need the executable to do the thing. That's a bummer. Subprocess run echo. Let's take a look. I'm guessing it's due to Pi. I guess not with Python and C libraries. Yes, you're correct. Sorry, out of luck here. Yep, okay. Here's the popen thing that we went through. I don't think I don't think it's going to be like easily solvable. Like somewhere you could go make your own whatevers and do it, but stuff uh, whatever. Fake file system, fake file system. Deployer. Is this even Python? joking mostly okay whatever it's not going to be something that's trivial so oh you should leave all these open so they show up in the show notes because that's what they're there for yeah <laughs> all right pale people unite i uh yeah, I, I go out in the sun for any amount of time and I'm cooked. Um, it would like, and of course I live in Florida, so, you know, 
the shun sunshine state sunshine state wow s's these days are hard uh so yeah i get i get fried up pretty easily um, it would, wouldn't be bad if i was out more like you know it's one of those things if you're out just a little bit more theoretically you get a little bit more used to it or whatever but like i don't cross that threshold um okay so now we need to remove a file or delete a file whatever os remove Oh, also, that needs to be out MP4. That's what we're making. We're not making MP3s. So MP4. So let's get rid of all this and get back to our shameless green. So let's do this real test path because we only have to do it once. Whoa, no idea what that was. In a world where you don't know what things are doing. Uh, yep, there we go, 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 there we go. Okay, path is file. And also up here, we need to delete it. OS remove, oops, oops, there you go. That, we need OS apparently. Import OS. And run them and broke it. No file directory, hyperspeed mp4. Thought we just made that. Oh, let's remove file not found. Oh, try it again. Nope. Oh, it's breaking. So yes, so I need to test if it's there. Try. Accept, pass, like I don't care if it doesn't remove it. Is that how you do that? Nope. Now let's try it. Ah, we're passing. Okay. That was ah, oh, that was just that's a whole bunch of work that was right around not needing to be done. All right, so we're doing that. So let's load our file list. And then for file and self file list. Uh, aha, we need to get, we need to figure out a path. Test integration, blah, blah, blah. Didn't print anything. Why didn't it print anything? Oh, cause we got to load, we got to load it. Wait a minute. That should have worked. Real test path. Samples config.json. 
sample config real. So that's here. And we're going to test MB3 root. All right, let's put the full pass in there because I don't think that's working. There we go. That caught it. Yeah, it needs a full test path. See, that's what I don't like about this is the pathing, like trying to work on the file system during testing sucks. It's one of the reasons probably people don't do it very much, but everything I'm doing is about the file system. Um, and I want to make sure I've got the stuff lined up. And you could, if it didn't need... Yeah, if I didn't need to actually you read data from the file for an integration test, it would be fine. Um, so I can still use the fake FS stuff for anything that, that needs to be. I'll try and modulize stuff out. Um, but for the integration test, it's got to hit an MP3 file so it can look at the duration and then go. And then also needs to write a file out. So, um, Oh, it's going to need a third thing to go in the config in a minute, but we're going to do that in a minute. Okay, so that's got... It's processing the file. So now what we need to do is... Where do we want to get... The root... Or the output pass from? We should probably pass the config now we can pass the output root to the mp3 file is that how we want to do that so we got a duration And we know our input path. Yeah, why don't we do that? And this is again is one of those where like this stuff would be not nearly as complicated to write if I was just doing it procedurally and not doing the test stuff. But I'm exercising the test muscles, muscles, muscles. Yeah, so you give it a start path. You might as well have the, the output path come in the um, in the file as well, in the MP3 file as well. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to close these off for a minute. Uh, except we're going to do output root is what we want to call this. So... Test MP3 file. So when we make it... We're gonna do that and we're gonna do output root equals. Yeah, so on this one, I can't use the fake FS either. Oh, that sucks. Um, pause, duration, pause. Crap. Yeah, I'm just going to refactor all that stuff out right now. Like it's not it's not worth the hassle. So I'm just going to drop this. Well, actually, let me stay green. Oh, and actually, so I can actually flip this over too while I'm here. This is cool. I can do this. This is fine. PwC hyper whatever. So this is just going to become MP3 path. And we're going to call this with this. Get rid of that. Passing. Okay. Yeah. So now I can get rid of all this crap. <sighs> I 
yeah, faking it sucked. This is better, I guess. Yeah, let me move that down there. Come back to the output directory in there in a second. Oh, I just threw away a whole bunch of code. I'm fine with that. I've got no problem with that at all. It's just frustrating that... Eh, frustrating. It's just like, ugh. Oh, had to mess with it. Um, no. Didn't like that. Okay. You're good. You stay there. Still passing. Still passing. Yeah, the trick with this is... I get a little... Like, it'd be really better if for every single one of the tests you have their own directory and, like, all this other stuff, but, like... Because you don't want to have coll unintentional collisions that let you... that give you... Oh. Actually, we can... Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um... I wasn't sure why there's an MP3 and MP4 in there, but then I remembered I did that accidentally the first time. All right, so there's our output root. Def test output file path. Uh, output path. Let's go back and forth on that. Expected. Speed.mp4. See, this is where you can get into trouble. Well, actually, no. Yeah, so this is going to be, this is okay, because I'm not actually testing anything on the file path. This is just about the strings. But I need to use the same strings up here. I can make another one. Whatever. It's fine. Um, self, sort equal, expected, actual. Pull the spacey space right there. So that should definitely. Whoa, failed. Why'd that fail? Unexpected keyword output roots. Ah, see, that's why we test. Output root. Self. Output root equals output root. Now we're going to pass. Yes, we are. And then we'll do this. Self, nope. MP3. Wow. Mistyped all that. Do that. So that doesn't exist. So this is going to blow up. Edibles, man. You got to watch out for those edibles. They will mess you up. Caffeine, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't know I've ever had edible caffeine. Actually, I know that I haven't had edible caffeine. I can reverse that. I, I know that for a fact that I haven't. Um, all right, so that's failing because this isn't returning. Output path equals that. Turn, output path, go. Cool. Now you can build that. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this. Yeah, so this output path is probably the last thing I do uh, this evening. So really, you just want, do I have OS in here yet? Nope. RS, there we go. So, file name, oh, oh wait, file name, file, 
extensions equals OS Hang on a second, there's a way to do this. Pi split text. See split text for a better way. Get the file extension. Now I've got another one down here. Oh, did I not put it in here? Because you could also do. So you want to do it off of. How would you do that for a full path? Hang on a second. We got to figure this out. Uh, I can close that one. Delete. I can close that one. Delete. I need to go through in here. I've got 700 tabs up here. Is that for split text? This actually is a good place to be. Um, for file and file. So that's on split text on the example path. Is that going to work? It is not. How about path base name? That didn't do it. How do you get, get base name without extensions? Base name, split, file name, base name. It should have worked. Right? Example path file extension. Oh, I don't, I don't want the example path. I want file name. Yeah, there we go. This is all split text, right? See split text for a better way. Split text. Here's this. And then so. This will have the directory. This is just the file name. So we're going to do this, put inside here, we do OS path base name. This is what we want, I think. Nicotine and caffeine, yeah. Yeah, I, I've done some in the past, I don't anymore. Um, not, I don't care. Um, I just don't. It's I'm not into it, uh, but not like in a ooh way. It's just kind of lost interest. Um, so whatever. Um, only only did edibles a couple times and just laid me out. I'm fine, I like enjoyable, but like couldn't move um, in a very delightful way. Walked to the fridge, couldn't remember why I was there. Um, it was all kinds of interesting. So output path, where do we get that? So output path comes off of MP3 path or the file. So the file name comes off of that. So that's what we need here. So if we run that, do we see a file name down here? Hyperspeed, there we go. So output path. Is gonna be our output dir, or output root, sorry. Followed by 
file name dot mp4 because we always want to be mp4s run that okay and now we're going to pass it and run that and we're passing so there's our output path test mp3 there we go all right so we've got our input path we've got our output path and we've got our duration Now we just need to go count down. I'm going to add one thing, other thing to the config file right now while I'm thinking about it. So, and that goes into sample config real. I need to rip, I just need to rip pi of fake FS out of all that stuff. Yeah, it made me more anxious. Well, so like, there's like the two kinds, right? Uh, I can't remember, and I don't know if I should talk about them on Twitch. Um, but one of them definitely makes you more jittery than the other one. Uh, I definitely liked the less jittery one. Um, but I also, I couldn't, like, I couldn't go out on it. Like, I could only stay at the house and maybe around one or two people that I knew. Um, I've I've gone out a few times with it and just like nope like super anxious and paranoid and like all that jazz not for me um, sitting on the couch listen to mu music sure oh, I really need to rip all that stuff out don't I um half me wants to keep going but it's better if I just call it right now um because if I get in the middle of something, I'm going to not want to quit. This isn't too bad, though. Um, especially considering a, about an hour or an hour and a half worth of work was just not worth it. Um, but now I know. Like, that's, I mean, that, so it's not that it wasn't worth it. It's, I learned a good lesson there, which is don't use PyFakeFS with uh, external processes um, or like subprocess because it does not go. Um, that, that's an hour lesson. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes it's shorter. But yeah, so what's going on with it? So create it. Yeah, I'm going to rip all the fake assess stuff out soon. Um, we load our config in. Do we call symbol videos? A symbol videos right now is loading the files in. So that does the glob. And then it's going through all the files. And so this is where, so the last thing that we need to do is create the FFmpeg command. which we've kind of already got. Like, I've already done all this stuff in this other one. Um, I don't know why that didn't open. We get the durations, get clip path, make clip, make clip command. Yeah, I'll just, I'll work through this tomorrow. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I think that'll be fine. Because it's got, whoops, that's the wrong one. So we need to add, I'm just going to do this last thing, clip root. Because I want to make sure I've got all the parts. Clip root. So test NAS assembler or NAS assembler. Load config file. 
Oh yeah, this is doing it off of whatever. This is doing it off the fake one. Clip root. Uh, so this one. Clip root. The whoops. The I really like it better when you can do this. Just throw random crap at it. So this is going to explode because we're not loading that in. We're just going to do that. Hopefully quickly. Clip root. Clip root. Run it. Cool. Let's run the full suite for this. Good. And now the thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave, I'm going to break this. So here's what we're going to do. I want to leave. Um, so I like the idea of leaving stuff in a broken state. So when I come back, you immediately have something to focus on. You're not kind of like scrambling around to, to go figure out what's going on. Um, so I'm going to send, whoop, first I need to make the directory. Clip root, clip root, grab it. So this is going to break MP3 tests when I try and make it right here. Because, yeah, it's already telling me. I don't know why two tests broke. Oh, yeah, because it ran it twice. Yeah, so now I know where to start. I'm going to start on that tomorrow. Like, I'm going to come in here and, like, I'm going to put that in. And then that'll, I know clips are what I want to work on next. So that gives me kind of the starting point. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. So, yeah, I, basically, when I walk in tomorrow... I run this test, I see all this crap, and I'm like, oh, right, I'm on clip path. I need to go fix this. And then that gets you kind of into it. It's a, it's a little like toe hold to get back into the code or whatever. Um, I don't know uh, exactly what time. Um, I've got some stuff to do in the morning. I'm probably going to stream twice. Uh, I'd expect 11.30, 12.30... One, two, I'll probably sometime around two Eastern tomorrow. Well, when I start the first one, maybe. Um, and then, uh, and then probably like seven or eight again. I'll, I'll figure out the, the later one, depending on when I did in. But it's probably around two Eastern, um, maybe a little before, maybe an after. Um, 1 30, 2 30, somewhere in that area. Um, should be. Uh, I can't think of why. I've just got some running around to do tomorrow and some appointments to go to or an appointment to go to. Uh, but that's, yeah. One thirty, two thirty, somewhere around there. So cool. But for now I'm tapping out. Have a good evening. We'll see you. Be kind, chill out, relax. It's all good. <laughs> all right. See ya.